Today's video is about word count and word counts in different languages and how to deal with them in translation. Let's start from the beginning. In translation, you have the source text and you have the target text. Source text is in the source language, that's where it comes from, and the target text will be in the target language. Once you've translated it, it'll be in the target language. Usually, you charge per word and usually you charge per source word because the translation isn't done yet, so you have to take the source text, see how many words there are, and you charge per word. So obviously a word count is the number of words in that document, in that source document. There are many ways to count words. I'm assuming you know how to do it. If you have Microsoft Word, then it's there under Tools, I think, or something. Otherwise, other programs have it, or worst case scenario, you can always copy and paste the text and plug it into a website, just search for word count, website, something, and something will pop up. Then you can count the number of words, then you can tell the client, okay, I'm gonna charge this much total, or, or so you know I'm gonna make this much, etc., etc. Now, sometimes you don't know the word count because you receive a PDF or a scanned document or something along those lines. You don't know what the word count is, but you still need to give a price to the client before you give them the translation. There's several ways to go about this. First of all, you should know what an OCR tool is. I've done a video on this before. It's optical character recognition, I think. There's several websites. There's one I use all the time, which I recommended in my video, and I can link to it down below. The way it works is it scans the documents and it recognizes words and letters, and then it puts them into text. This makes it very easy to take a PDF document that's been scanned and put it into text, and so you can have a precise word count. However, many times, you can't do this. It might be a bad scan or there might be, many times with legal forms you find all these stamps on top and so it's hard to get an estimate or maybe they give you physical documents that you need to scan yourself but you don't want to do all that just for a quote or I don't know, something along those lines. Some, sometimes it's not possible. In these cases, when you don't know the word count of the source text, then usually what ends up happening is that you can charge a price per target word you can base it off the word count of the target text. So this means that once you're done with the translation, then you count the number of words and you can say, okay, my price is X, say it's 10 cents a word, and at the end you have a thousand words, and so that's a hundred bucks. Of course, you can't tell the client that until you've translated it, so what you'll tell them is my price is 10 cents a word, and then you'll realize that it's a thousand words once you're finished. Now, if you followed so far, hopefully this wasn't too convoluted, you might be thinking, okay, well, if I translate from one language to the other, and I get paid for the word count of the, of the target text. I'll just make it very flourishing language, very expressive language, very artsy maybe, and add all these adjectives and add a whole bunch of conjunctions, you know, a whole bunch of words just to make it longer so I get paid more. I mean, no, I, I recommend not to do this because first of all, the client knows that if they're paying you uh, for the target text at a price per target word, then that your temptation is to make more target words so you get paid more. So they'll be on the lookout for this and your client isn't stupid. I don't care who your client is, but they're probably not stupid. You shouldn't be playing these games. Also in the long term, you're gonna make a lot more money by having a good reputation to be a good translator rather than playing these games and trying to get a couple more extra cents here and there. And at the end of the day, it's not gonna be all that much more no matter how many adjectives you put in there. I don't care what you get paid per word, but you know, even a 10 cents a word, you're gonna, you're gonna waste more time trying to find different adjectives to get more money than you know, trying to find another job. However, there is one thing you should keep in mind. A thousand words in one language does not mean a thousand words in another language. I translate from Italian to English. If I have a text that's a thousand words in Italian, on average, that'll equal 1,300 words in English. Now you can see where the issue comes here. If I charge 10 cents a word and there are a thousand words, that'll come out to 100 bucks. However, if I charge 10 cents a word and it's 1,300 words, that'll come to 130 bucks. And it can be a lot more for other languages. For Chinese to English, I think it's 1.7. However, so if your target language has more words usually than your source language, then you're actually fine. I, I, if I were you, I would charge the same. It depends what the ratio is, obviously, but I wouldn't worry too much about having to charge per targeted text rather than source text. In fact, it can be to your advantage. I do Italian to English, so for me it's not too much of a problem. If I have to deal with the target text, I can have the same word count and the extra number of words that usually comes out definitely makes up for the fact that I don't know how many words they're going to be and that level of uncertainty plus having to deal with a PDF. 
However, if you're the other way around, if you translate from English to Italian, then it can be an issue. There's several ways to go about this. One would be to keep it in mind and then just quote a price for the whole document, the whole translation. You're going to have to estimate a bit. And again, this depends on language, but many times they say like for English, it's around 300 words per page, you know, depending, or you can use an OCR program to figure out an approximate number of words, etc. Otherwise, you can say there's a surcharge for dealing with scanned documents or PDFs or photocopies. I'm not sure how well the client would take that, but by all means, you can do it because it is harder to deal with a PDF for a scanned document, especially if you're using a CAT tool and you want to copy and paste the text into the CAT tool so, you, so it can help you out, you can't do that with a PDF document. Of course, clients don't want to hear that and they don't understand all that. And so they're not going to be very receptive. They're not going to be happy about the idea of being charged more because they happen to have a PDF. So again, my advice will be to charge for the whole document, get an estimate of the number of words, and then charge a bit more. If the, if the ratio is 1.3, then charge Cover that 30% just in case because you're going to have fewer words in the target language than the source language. So you want to make sure you get paid what you would have gotten paid. Or just do it a couple times and charge the same amount per word, per, per target word, and see what happens. Maybe there's not that much difference and it doesn't bother you as much. Definitely something to keep in mind. After you do a few translations, you'll get more used to it and you'll get more of a feel for this. But when you're first starting out, you might not know this. So especially if there's a big difference between the two languages, definitely keep this in mind. And worst case scenario, you can educate the, uh, the client, right? You can tell them, look, on average, there are 1.3 or 1.7 words in, in this language as compared to the other language. So of course it's going to cost more. That's just normal. Hopefully this helps. Hopefully this clears it up a bit. If you have any questions about it, feel free to let me know and I'll be happy to help with anything. In the meantime, if you found this useful and you want other videos about translation, freelance translation, or freelancing in general, then feel free to subscribe. Please click that like button, it always helps, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, bye. Sabedum. And, 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 and so, and so.